So it's quite a well-known fact that Varane is quite injury prone. And on top of that, Varane's contract actually expires at the end of the season. However, he actually does have a one-year extension that Man United could trigger. But given his wages and overall availability, I don't think it's worth signing that one-year extension. So in this video, I want to talk about three centre-backs who I would personally bring in to replace Varane if he ends up leaving in the summer. And without wasting any more precious time, let's get into the video. So the first centre-back I want to have a look at is Tadebo. So Tadebo is a 24-year-old French centre-back who currently plays for Nice. He's quite tall, standing at about 6 foot 3 in height. Now at the time of recording this, Nice currently have the best defensive record in the league. As you can see here, they've only conceded 25 goals from 31 games, which for a club like Nice is quite impressive in my opinion. So that's already a massive tick in the box in terms of how good I think Tadebo could be for United if we were to sign him. So what I want to talk about now is Tadebo's defensive stats this season. So he ranks the 91st percentile of goals conceded. He also ranks the 91st percentile of minutes per goal conceded, which is on average or every 114 minutes. He ranks the 97th percentile of clean sheets. He ranks the 63rd percentile of tackles per 90. However, he also ranks in the 81st percentile of interceptions per 90. He ranks in 70th percentile of aerial duels won. He ranks in the 85th percentile of clearances per 90. He ranks in the 78th percentile of shots blocked per 90. And finally, he's not conceded a single penalty this season. So overall, rather than a few weaknesses here and there, I think those stats are pretty good. I think if he played for United, he'd have Lissandro Martinez alongside him. I think we'd have two absolute rocks in our defence if we were to sign him next season. So yeah, that's about everything I have to say about Todibo. Now the second player I want to talk about is Tapsoba. So Tapsoba is a 25-year-old centre-back who currently plays for Bayer Leverkusen. He stands at around 6 foot 4 in height. So similarly to Nice, Leverkusen have conceded the least goals in the Bundesliga, which has massively contributed them to not only winning their first ever Bundesliga title in their history, but they've also gone unbeaten in all competitions so far this season, as of recording this anyway. Now like we did with Tadebo before, I want to have a look at Tapsoba's defensive actions this season. So he ranks the 91st percentile of goals conceded. He also ranks the 91st percentile of minutes per goal conceded, which is around 106 minutes per goal. He ranks the 92nd percentile of clean sheets. He ranks in the 48th percentile of tackles per 90. He ranks in the 63rd percentile of interceptions per 90. He also ranks the 70th percentile of aerial duels won. He ranks in the 83rd percentile of the amount of times he's been dribbled past. Amazingly, he's only been dribbled past six times this season. He ranks in the 71st percentile of clearances per 90. He ranks in the 72nd percentile of blocked shots. And same as Tadebo, he's not given away a single penalty this season either. So, like I said with Tadebo, Tapsoba's stats look really, really good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put both of these scout reports side by side and I'm going to let you all draw your own conclusions from this. Now, before I give my actual opinion on which of these centre-backs I would sign, there is another player that I would like to briefly talk about, and that player is Antonio Silva. So Antonio Silva is a young 20-year-old centre-back who currently plays for Benfica. He's quite tall as well, standing at around 6 foot 2 inches in height. Now, there isn't exactly as much data on Silva as the other two centre-backs, because he's younger and he hasn't been playing for as long as the other two players. So I'm going to go over the defensive stats for Antonio Silva that I found. So he's conceded 0.71 goals per 90. And on average, he concedes a goal once every 128 minutes. And he's kept 14 clean sheets this season. Now, I understand that that's not exactly a lot of information. But I wanted to bring him up simply because, in my opinion, he's got a really, really high ceiling. And I think he could develop into one of the world's best centre-backs. I think he's going to be absolutely brilliant. And I think whoever he joins, he's going to massively help out defensively. So in terms of who I would sign over Tadebo or Tapsoba, in my opinion, I would sign Tadebo. Simply because of the fact that Sir Jim Ratcliffe owns United and Nice. So maybe we could work something out where we're able to sign Tadebo maybe for dead cheap. I think worst case scenario, I think we'd end up paying about 40 million quid for him. But even then, I'd say get the deal done. I rate Tadebo highly and I think it'd really help us out if we had a play like Tadebo in our team. So yeah, that is who I would sign to replace Rafael Varane if he were to leave in the summer. If you have any other centre-backs that you think maybe we should sign ahead of Varane, or even if you think we should keep Varane, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm genuinely interested to see what any of you have to say. And yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. 
Um, and yeah, there's not really much else I have to talk about, so see you in the next video.